Hello everyone, back for another episode of Minecraft. Today we're gonna be modding. Um anyways I was just playing Monster Hunter, as some of you were probably expecting. And oh my goodness what happened. Now while I was online looking up Monster Hunter stuff as people who play Monster Hunter usually do because they're like, I wonder what people have been saying about Monster Hunter. But, um, I kept on hearing about this one, uh, quest, where you go and you get mushrooms. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, like, oh, so you're just getting mushrooms? What's so bad about that, right? But apparently, a monster shows up. Now, the thing about this monster is that no one said what it was. And, like, this mission is disguised as a simple gathering mission. Oh my goodness, Enderman, don't kill me. Wait. Oh man, I thought I could have survived if I was down there. Luckily, I don't think Enderman can take your stuff. I don't know why mobs are spawning down there. I thought I'd have it lit up enough. So you like your it's disguised as a simple harvesting mission, right? And not and one that's not too difficult, uh rather easy really. So I mean, I go on this mission, right? I'm exp I'm thinking, "Oh, a one of the higher tier monsters must show up for people to be talking about it so much." So I go around. Uh so I'm thinking like I'm going on this mission and I'm going to find um Something that's not too big of a deal, nothing to really worry about. Just go, you just go on there and find, um, you know, some kind of uh, I don't know. Just oh man, I'm forgetting his name. Like a Rathian or Rathialos, because those are like some. Of the uh, the most popular, well, some of the most well-known of the monsters, so if you were, if people were talking about, uh, monsters showing up and wrecking stuff, you'd think, oh, they must be talking about Rathian or Rathlios. Yeah, I could see why people would be upset about a mission that <laughs> just says it's a gathering mission, but it, it shows you them. So I went on the mission, right? I went. I made sure to get a meal that had uh, stats for hunting. But you know, I think there's a reason they didn't say wh who the monster was. They didn't say who was uh, <laughs> surprising them out of the blue with their appearance. And I'm going to tell you who it is, if you do not want to have this spoiled for you. Um, go ahead and cover your ears. Maybe mute the video for a bit. Now listen. This monster, it's a Glavios. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's one of the main monsters in the game. You're only rank 3. You're still a low rank. And this... This is, a uh, Basically, the single pl player mode. Which means that it's even easier. Alright? So when you're doing a mission, and you're such a uh, low tier, you're not expecting uh, a blade monster to come out of, uh... Um, uh cover. You're expecting, uh, you're expecting something else. Something calmer. But instead, uh, right in your face as a Glavios. And they don't, and it's not like they give you, uh, time to prepare for it, too. I mean, I was thinking that I'd be able to go to the resting spots because they do that for low rank missions. And so I would go into the, uh, I went into the mission and it's uh it doesn't even spawn you in the area it like 
with high rank missions, what will happen is you won't be able to. Uh, when you spawn some, like you won't always be at the uh, camp, which is a safe spot. Oh my goodness! Honestly, uh, baby zombies are some, is one of the worst enemies in the game. They're so hard to put down. I'm not talking like a book either. Just gonna go ahead and a lot of sticks. Oh boy. So I'm just going in there and I do the mission, right? And I see that monster. I, I pretty much scream in surprise. I'm not kidding. I scream, wait, what? You know, all shocked. And well, I was thinking partially like, oh, this must be a mission that you're supposed to fail at. I something like that. But then I remember, oh, wait, they don't make it that you have to defeat it. Like, in Monster Hunter 4, there were some missions where you just had to drive away the boss. And, I mean, it was the biggest enemy around, but you didn't even have to defeat it. Alright? So, I mean, I'm just going on these missions and, uh, and such. I'm not expecting to see it. But, anyways. So, like... The first round, like you could say, um, I end up dying pretty much immediately. <laughs> I know, not that uh, good. But I think to myself, alright, alright. I'll try one more time with the uh, other life that you get. Because you get like three lives, like you can uh, faint two times, but if you faint a third time, you go, you have to go back. Like uh, the mission has failed. So um, I go and fight. This time I'm able to survive much longer because I know a little bit more about his moves from the last fight. So I'm, th I think that uh, maybe I can actually take it down. And all that kind of stuff. So I mean, I actually go into the mission, and it, like I'm already in the mission, of course. But I go towards the monster, and I fight him again, chase him to another area, fight him again. But then he stuns me and knocks me out while I'm stunned. I really hate it when that happens. I'm pretty sure it's like one of the worst things that can happen as a uh, hunter. A monster stuns you and kills you while you're stunned because the, it's like. It's not a skill that you can get better at. I mean, I guess you could try to get better at avoiding the stu tech that stuns you, but it's basically an easy attack for a monster to pull off that is hard to avoid. Now, I have one more, uh, I, uh, I'm basically on my last life, alright? I think, oh, well, I'm just going to have to uh, complete the mission, aren't I? I'm going to have to ignore the monster and try to survive the best I can. Right? So... I go around and start gathering monsters. Then I realize the mushroom they want you to gather to complete the mission, it's only found inside the 
um, area where the monster you originally see. I'm like, well, at least he's in this other area, right? So, but in order to get to that area, you have to go to the monster. So what happens is, I see it and I fight it. Actually, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're probably thinking, why would you do that? And I mean, it's not like uh, what I was doing was particularly smart. But I drive into the other area, and but once I go into the area the mushrooms are, it's there. I'm just thinking, oh my goodness. So I'm able to drive it away again. But I'm like, I just keep on getting better because uh, at finding it. Be oh, ooh, maybe I can get a CD. Or not. Just run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 they're going to start blowing up. They're going to start blowing up. No, there's no CDs, is there? Darn it. Oh, man. As you can see, I'm not that good at fighting monsters. <laughs> well, I'm also on drum. I'm pretty good. But that's because, of, you know, the patterns and all that. Meanwhile, I'm faffing and facing on set with no armor. Well, this time, I'll be able to defeat it. Like, you can spam your attacks if you don't have a weapon in your hand. Or, I mean, even, like, the pickaxe. You can just spam that. You don't get any... You really don't get any return for waiting with that one. I'm just going to take out all the dark spots. I didn't want to create a mob grinder. Or at least not right now. Alright. So... I'm just thinking, I, I'm, I gather up the mushrooms, right? So, then I start going back. Um, so I could, like, return, turn the mushrooms in so that I could complete the mission, right? And it's there. I have to knock it back another time. And you know where it goes? That's right. It goes right where I need to be. So, I'm going, I'm um, just like, oh my goodness, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to complete the mission. So, I'm just going, and I was able to knock it uh, to another area again. Like, this guy must have a bunch of health, or I came, and I, and I must have come very close to killing him, because he was, um, he kept on just running into other areas. And I think I ended up using all my, um... Uh, oil that makes monsters tired because that's really useful when fighting and just as it so happens actually I have to destroy that aren't I just as it so happens it goes into the next area as well like I've knocked this thing back into like five or six times now. It's getting pretty annoying. But anyways, I knock it back. Again? No. I end up fighting, I'm fighting it, right? And I end up using my last potion. And this thing, it can use fire attacks. And it's not like it's breathing out fire or anything. Like, it does do that. Those are easier to avoid, though. No, what it does is that it, um, when it go, when it, uh, hits you with the blade, if he recently chewed on his own tail, which is his blade, I mean, I know it's weird, but that does, but this is Monster Hunter. You gotta expect weird. Um, so, when that happens, um, it will be warm because like since he breathes fire he can breathe fire onto his own tail to make it warmer and so you will catch fire if you t if you get attacked by his tail and he attacks with his tail all the time so you're going to be rolling a lot in that battle 
So anyways, I end up using my last potion. And I have more than 50% of health, so I'm thinking, alright, I'll knock it around a bit more, and if I manage to get it limping, I'll go ahead and try to defeat it. Here's a clue. It didn't limp. Yep, I ended up just having to go back and return the mushrooms before I ended up dying because I was like less than 10% of health uh, when I decided to retreat. Oh my goodness. Just forgot I needed to get a shovel. There is one thing I guess you could say is like, um, even when I probably should have, I didn't run out of the area. Then again, like I just said, I probably should have just run out of the area. Not worried about defeating it since I was such a low, uh, rank. And look, I was still using my armor from the, um, from when I was, uh, like, I was still using my Cephalos armor. I haven't gotten any new armor yet. And that, and for the most of the time, that's been alright, because it's like, um, uh, the monster does, uh, a bit more damage to me, but it's not enough that I need concern of new armor. Like, I plan on getting more armor, like, I get an every, a new armor set, each new, uh, rank I rise up. Because, that way you make sure that you not you go like two ranks without getting new armor and then suddenly uh, once you get to this new rank everything is just um uh, everything is um blowing right over you you don't get a chance to defeat them so i'm mean, <laughs> it's just a bleak situation right there and like I went through that once, and you don't want to go back to the to uh, the previous missions. You don't want to be like uh, you don't want to have to go back and form a monster for a rank that you already got past. Oh boy! So because of that, I just go ahead and get new armor every HR. Well. Yeah, HR. It means hunter rank. But, I mean, like, one time I had gotten Tetsukuba armor in Monster Hunter for you, and then I decided to go the next two ranks without getting new armor because, for those of you who don't play Monster Hunter, Tetsukuba, uh, whatever, however you say it, um, oh, I got Flint. You guys know what that means. But anyways, because they have Tets, uh, armor, and like, Tetsukuba armor is really high in defense, so usually you could go a rank without getting new armor after getting Tetsukuba armor. Oh. Where is this? Like, how deep down is this? 24. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to want to go a bit deeper. I'm going to explore this cave, though. Oh my goodness, it's so... Anyways, so I'm just doing this, and the thing about this is that this isn't even on the village rank. This is on the multi online, which is um, has a higher jump in intensity. And you know what the rank that I decided I need more armor is? One rank before G rank. 
yeah. And I just happened to decide to get armor from the most difficult uh, non-legendary monster. Silver Rathleos. Oh boy. Took me a while to get rid of like the D grade buffs on it. Like it had a, a potion D grade, which means that potions would only heal you, heal you half as much as they used to. And let me tell you, that is painful. It took me a long time to be able to get rid of that. Uh, I took most of that was just trying to find out what jewel I needed in order to do that. Then I got tired of, oh boy, creeper. I got tired of of waiting for it, and then well, no, like I didn't get tired of trying to get the silver rifles on. I actually did get the silver rifles on. What I'm saying is, like, I got tired of trying to find out. Okay, okay, so which um, jewel am I supposed to use to get rid of the health debuff? So I just end up looking online, but. I got the Silver Rathleos armor, which looks pretty cool. I actually fought it way more time, uh, a lot more, like, at least six more times than I needed to. And let me tell you, when you don't have a complete armor set, it is a pain to do that. So, because, like, one of the materials was from a normal Rathleos. I didn't know this, and I went ahead and just, you know, um, average per, like, <sighs> let me just say, it was painful uh, when I found out, I was like, oh my goodness, I could have got it that much sooner, because, like, I was still getting this armor when I had G rank. Alright? Like, I had the possibility of going into G rank. I know most of you guys are like, are saying stuff, are thinking stuff like, then why don't you just go into G rank then? Got in some G rank armor. That stuff is better than the rest of this stuff. And I mean, yeah, you're right, it is, but. How am I supposed to go around doing that if my armor is so weak that I get killed by a monster every time it hits me? Like, I'm fighting the. Uh, Glavius, and because I think it's meant for you to be able to defeat him if you're good at Monster Hunter, um, I, uh, it, when it hit me, it only took away a third of my elephant, not the entire thing, because I mean, at that early. Yeah, there's no way you wouldn't be able to, uh, defeat that thing unless you've fought it enough times to know how it fights. And I mean, I just had to try to figure that out for, while I was uh, fighting it. Alright. Where is that hole? Blah. What just happened? Really, what just ha Was there... Did I just jump off a cliff randomly? Okay, that's what it looks like what happened. I thought some kind of what, glitch happened that caused me to um, fall under the ground. Now, yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get back up there. Oh, look, gold. You can use that to make powered rails. One of the only uses for gold. The only other use is potion making. You don't want to use gold as an ore. Ironically, it is an ore. Where'd it go? Was was it fool's gold? Was I seeing fool's gold? Was I seeing gold that was not real? Is that what happened? 
It was somewhere around here when I saw it. <sighs> and it's gone? Okay then. I guess that was fool's gold, everyone. New Minecraft update, 1.10. And I know this is 1.10, that's why I said it's 1.10. I could have said 1.11. But that wouldn't have been true, would it? Anyways, new, um, like, there's probably a mod of it, but, like, uh, go through the world, but look out, there's fake ore, you'll see it, and then it'll disappear, never to be seen again. Anyways, I think I'll end the episode once I find a way to get out of here, I, and who knows how long that'll take. No, oh, no, there it is. It's real. Only two. That's not even enough to, uh, to make one rail. Let me tell you, these rails are expensive. They take up a lot of gold. Okay, where the heck is this uh, hole supposed to be going up? Oh man, I should have placed some sort of marker, like four torches in one area or something. Oh, what hit me? What hit me? What? Oh. I'm hungry. Why can't one of you be the hole that I'm looking for? Oh my goodness, where is it? Alright, then I'm just gonna start digging up, yeah. If I manage to go and find the hole, then I'll get into the hole. Oh boy, but hey. For those of you ha who have played that mission, who know what I'm talking about, when you run into a flagship monster, when you're just rank 3, village rank, Go ahead into the comments. Tell me what you think of that monster and your experiences with it. Oh man, it's, it's hard to see. Let me see. Oh man. All right, guys. I'm thinking that what I'll do. Wait, can I not go up? There we go. Yeah, what I'll do, so I don't have to subject you to what you're probably seeing as just darkness and nothing else. Um, is I'll go ahead, I'll c end the video here. I won't cut it. And in the next episode... Oh, wait, there's... Uh, oh, iron here. In the next episode, I'll be above the ground. So, see, um, guess I'll see you guys, and I hope to, that you guys uh, see you again. Uh, thanks for watching.